Brian Smenda here for you guys. And uh, whenever you guys are ready, we'll open it up for questions. So Brian. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Can't complain. First off, uh, must be a good feeling knowing that you're going to play this Friday. What's the, how's it feel knowing that the, their game is right around the corner? Uh, I mean, we're all, all the guys are excited, you know. Uh, obviously, last week with Notre Dame uh, having to pull out uh, was kind of a blow to us. You know, we were really excited to get back out there and show them that we're not the same team that we were, you know, that we've been, we have been working and we've been, you know, trying to fix these things. But we're glad to get back out there against Campbell this Friday and, to, you know, show Deacon Nation that, you know, we're, we're back to it. What's the biggest things that you guys on the defense are working on heading into the matchup against Campbell? Uh, for starters, one, just doing our job. I know I feel like these past two weeks we've been, you know, kind of straying away from that, trying to do our own things. But, you know, now these past two weeks that we've been able to have, it's been really just do your job and know your job well. Uh, the second piece, I think, to it is knowing more of the defense as a whole versus, you know, just knowing your assignment. But as long as you can do your job, but, you know, like in the past game and things like that, if you can understand, you know, more of the concept of what we're trying to get done, then that'll help you, you know, make certain plays that maybe – through like doing your job, you can, you know, kind of bend a certain way, do a certain thing, you know, to try to make another play. Do you think that was something that really hurt y'all the first two games, not knowing the whole defense as far as some of the guys? Uh, yes, yeah, so I feel like, you know, it's, it's one thing, you know, to know your job, but I feel like it's very important as a whole that we understand what we're trying to get accomplished as a unit. Brian, what was the adjustment where, you know, up till Tuesday last week at like two o'clock, you guys are preparing for Notre Dame. And then all of a sudden you've got an off week. Uh, well, I feel like our coaches did a really good job of preparing us. You know, they brought us in, they said, Hey guys, we're not going to play this Notre Dame game, you know, but that doesn't mean we're not going to practice. We're not going to, you know, not, you know, get ready for the game upcoming. So, you know, we had a lift day and then, you know, we started practicing and preparing for Campbell, but yeah, like I said, I think our coaches did a really good job of getting the film ready, getting the cutups and things like that, you know, to allow us to come in, watch the first and second down tapes and things like that to get started on them early. Ryan, how, how much time did you folks spend trying to fix what might've went wrong against North Carolina state? And then how quickly was it? for you to turn the page and start focusing on the next opponent. Right, so uh, we had our little uh, walkthrough of adjustments and things we had to work on, things we needed to fix from the game. And then as we started to practice, we started harping on, you know, as we messed up in practice, because that's what practice was for, we had to emphasize like, hey, this is what, what killed us in the NC State game. We can't let these things happen again. So we had to focus on, you know, not turning a new page and, you know, not, we can't go backwards. We got to keep taking steps forward because if we keep taking steps forward and getting 1% better every day, then that's only gonna allow us to get better and allow us to win games in the future. So we had to really get our nose to the grindstone and just keep chipping away. As that game is unfolding, Ryan, uh, as a linebacker, how surprising was it for you to see how effective the Wolfpack offense was? And how do you kind of on the field in the heat of the moment kind of respond to that? Uh, well, I think as a linebacking core uh, for, for starters, um, I'm, I'm going to be mature, but I don't think we handled it very well. Um, I think we definitely could have handled it better. Um, but, you know, that's that's on us as, you know, me and Jaquez as the starters. You know, that's on, that's our responsibility to gather the group and really collectively, um, you know, gather everybody's heads. Um, but I think me and Jaquez kind of failed to do that, and that's on us. And, you know, as men, we, we accept that. And we try not to let it happen in the future. So that's why these practices have been very imperative for us to get back to it and get to back to Deacon football, because we know how good we can be per last year's uh, defensive improvements. So, you know, we know what it takes to get there and we know what to do. We just have to do it. And I think uh, it starts with uh, me and Jaquez. So I'm assuming the result obviously wasn't what you guys wanted, but you feel like there was uh, some growth that, that came because of that? Oh, yes, sir. I feel like there was a lot of humble pie eating that game, for sure. Ryan, do you think that you and Jaquez have played anywhere close to your potential level? 
Uh, no, sir. I think every game there's room for uh, anybody on this team to get better. You know, whether one game you, you have a great game, you get 15, you know, who's to say next game you can't get 16? Who's to say the next game you can't get 17, right? So, you know, it's important that these guys understand, like, hey, every game is a new opportunity for you to get better. But it starts in this practice. You can't make the same mistakes as last week. You got to keep getting better and, you know, get in that film room, write your notes, you know, really – be a student of the game so you can go out there and get better every single practice. So then when it comes time to perform Friday or Saturday, you know, you can be the best, even better than you were the previous week. But, it, you know, it, it starts in the film room. It starts at practice and it starts with owning your mistakes and learning from them. Has that been a point of emphasis in the last week and a half or so to, to really own the mistakes and kind of. Yes, sir. There's been a lot of, you know, looking in the mirror and really saying, you know, what have I done? How have I prepared? Things like that. Is, is that, you know, you were, you were playing defense for this team two years ago quite a bit. Is that kind of the same things that were going on two years ago too? Um, I think there were a lot of things going on two years ago. But, you know, as it, like, like I said, last year's defense was so much uh, improved from two years ago. But, you know, like I said, me and Jaquez, as the starters, we know what it takes to get there. And we haven't. You know, we haven't been producing to that level, but, uh, you know, we're lucky that this week we have Campbell. We've been able to have about a week and a half of preparation. So, you know, this week there's no excuses. It's time to go out there and, you know, be deacon tough. It's time to deke up, yeah. It's it's kind of a balance that's needed there too, right? Because you guys have only played two games. You have nine left on the on the schedule here. You get another off week after this one, and you can't – you can't just throw everything out and try to try to revamp the whole system for two games, right? Right. Um, you know, we put in some different little calls here and there, but nothing too drastic. But um, I think what Coach Lyle and Coach Hemphill and uh, Coach Clawson and those guys have done to the defense right now, it's it's gonna it's gonna be really good and really fun to watch. Brian, how was last week different for you as a player than? I mean, on, on paper, it was a bye week. On paper, you didn't have a game, but it was it was laid out completely different. Plus, you're coming off a tough loss uh, against NC State in which, I mean, I think everybody would admit that the defense underperformed. How was last week different for you from a bye week than most other bye weeks you've experienced? Um, well, it was kind of fun watching college football. SEC was back. You know, it was kind of cool watching those guys get out there. Uh, but definitely knowing that we were supposed to be out there that day and knowing that we wanted to get out there and show them like, hey, like Notre Dame's next. We're not about to fold for anybody. You know, it, that, that kind of uh, hurt for us. But, you know, we understood with Corona, like there's nothing we could do. We had kind of had to let that blow with the wind and kind of, you know, restart, refresh our minds, get healthy and get back to learning the Campbell. Ryan, were you one of the guys that was at Waldo's wing Saturday night watching football? Was that? Were you part of that group? There was a oh, I didn't, no, sir. I didn't go Saturday night, but I was there uh, probably about Thursday. Okay, because uh, I, I noticed you guys are – they did a nice job of wearing masks. I mean, how important is that when you guys go off campus and stuff like that to to be – you know, to stay safe and, uh, you know, and really be ready for anything? Right. Uh, well, that's everything, wearing a mask. So, you know, if you catch it, you could be – uh, well, you will be quarantined, and then you could also have other guys in contact tracing, and that can just mess up the whole season. So that's imperative that everybody wears a mask no matter where you go because you never know who has it. Like Coach Clausen says, just treat everybody like they have it. All right, how much? Go ahead, Eddie. I know you guys wanted to play last week, but would you say that the bye week was almost needed at that point? Uh. Yeah, in some ways, I think so. I think it was important for some of our guys. You know, Coach Clawson got some of the younger guys who kind of missed out on those camp reps, whether they were quarantined or whatever. But they got really important reps, and they're going to also get more reps in this Campbell game. But, yes, I do think this was uh, needed in some aspects. Ryan, how much have you paid attention or aware are you or how much are the coaches talking about the fact that Campbell – canceled in-person classes for two weeks and called off all the other athletic teams practices. Like, is that something that you guys have talked about? Uh, yes, sir. So coach Clawson just, uh, well, cause I, uh, first I'm really good friends with uh, the offensive tackle there, Mike Edwards. And he told me, yeah, they canceled the in-person classes. 
And uh, obviously it was all on Twitter. So Coach Clawson addressed it at the end of practice. He just said, you know, they went to in-person classes. However, they tested their whole football team and there were no positives. So uh, the athletic director said they're playing and, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, we're excited to play. It's football is football. It's just kind of a weird like 2020 thing that you right. have to get an assurance that the other team tested negative all and, you know, something you in any other football season, you never would have heard anything about. Right. Right. Gotcha. Ryan, you talked a little bit about the, the quarantine experience. What have you have you talked to other players about that? And what have they said? Uh, well, first, I've never got to experience, but the other players were just saying, you know, you just don't get to leave. You know, they uh, they bring your food like and they leave it outside your door. But they said, you know, just make sure you wear your mask because quarantine is not it. It's not a place to be. If you did have to quarantine, hopefully you don't. But if you did, what did, what do you think you would occupy your time with? Uh, I'd probably be doing a lot of push-ups and sit-ups. i tell you that. I've heard it's called COVID jail. So you don't want to st- you want to stay out of that, correct? Right, right. Get your food delivered to you at the door, and then that's about the only daylight you get to see inside your window. Anything so else you mind? You're not like a video games guy. You wouldn't be like I, f- I feel like Greg Dortch would be in there playing Madden for like 12 hours a day. <laughs> that wouldn't be you. Oh, I I love Madden. I'm about to get. I haven't gotten 21 yet, but I'm about to get it very soon. You guys all good with Ryan? I'm good. Thank you, Ryan. Yes, sir. Thank you. Perfect. And we will see you guys at uh, 